Introduction to vectors. So first thing when we start with, let's understand what are vectors. So vector is a mathematical quantity that is described by both magnitude and direction. That is what vector is. So when we say what is a vector, we say well it's something which has both magnitude and direction. And if direction is of no importance and if there is some quantity which has only magnitude, and we don't specify its direction, then we call those quantities as scalars. So scalar is a quantity. We are saying mathematical quantity because we use this language mainly in mathematics. So scalar is a mathematical quantity that is described only by its magnitude. Whereas vector is mathematical quantity that is described by both magnitude and direction. So most of the time you will see we are talking about vectors only in mathematics and therefore we are specifically writing mathematical quantity. Well, uh, at times we do talk about vectors in common language. For example, position. So position up or down, left or right, under, above, all these are positions which actually refer to vector. We don't think like that. but but they are vectors because position makes no sense if we don't give a direction. Right? Even hierarchy is a position, right? Moving upwards. So position, a word as such, is kind of vector. But in English language, or for that matter, in common language, we don't refer to them as vectors or scalars. In mathematics, they are of a prime importance. And therefore, I have added purposely the word mathematical quantity, right? So we are, whenever we are talking about scalars and vectors, we are just talking about mathematical quantities, kind of thing which I want you to remember, right? Here is a small list, scalars and vectors. On scalar side, we have length, mass, distance and speed. On vectors, we have position, weight, displacement and velocity. Okay, so length, length, of, let's take a rectangle, length and width, for example, these are scalar. We don't need to say negative, positive, there is nothing like that, right? It is irrelevant. So, wherever we are talking about mathematical quantities where direction is irrelevant, we rather use them as scalars, right? But where direction is relevant, for example, position, we just saw, up, down, left, right, east, west, north, south all these positions. Where are you placed on the coordinate plane? You are in coordinate 1, coordinate 2, 3 or 4, right? So that position becomes a vector. Now mass and weight. So many students get confused with mass and weight. Therefore I have taken it here. Mass is the matter contained, right? So it is same, it is fixed. It is just a positive thing, right? Matter contained in a body is mass. And weight actually is the force by which the body is attracted towards the earth. As you know, weight will change if you go to moon, right? It changes. And it has a direction kind of always acting downwards. So if you leave a body in the air, it will fall down. So it has a direction pointing vertically downwards. So weight is a vector. It has a magnitude and direction. Distance and displacement. Distance is always measured positive, wherever it is. Whether you are going up, down, left or right, distance will be positive. But displacement is a vector quantity. Direction plays a big role. Let's say you go from home to school, which is 20 kilometers, and come back 20 kilometers. Distance will be 20 plus 20, 40 kilometers. But displacement, zero. Because going, if you consider as positive, coming back will be negative. And when you add them, 20 minus 20 gives you zero, right? The whole day you went up to school and came down, the displacement is zero. But the distance covered will be 40. It's a scalar quantity, plus plus. And in displacement, we had direction, very important, right? So it made it zero, most important. Scalars, speed. So when you are traveling, let's say in the car, 60 kilometers per hour. That's the important information. 
and if we just restrict ourselves to that speedometer then uh, we know the numbers going up and down so those numbers are telling us all scalar things correct so no direction is there but when we are talking about velocity we are referring to in which direction are we going right so if you start from home go south towards Niagara Falls for example then the velocity will be if your speed is 80 kilometers per hour you have to mention 80 kilometers per hour going south right so as you change the direction towards for example east you'll say well turned after so many hours in the direction of east and going heading at a speed of 100 kilometers an hour so velocity has both magnitude and direction right so that's kind of important and therefore velocity is vector so i hope with this you understand what scalars and vectors are so we'll quickly move on to the next video where there's a question i've just put some mathematical quantities and you have to figure out which one of these are scalars and which are vectors right and then we will see how to represent vectors and do some math with it right thanks and all the best